we're back. And I'm oily. Oh boy. Um, Myron's a disaster, like it always is. Um, but one of the main things that I want to do is clean out my closet a little bit, which I do way too often because I keep buying more and more clothes, more and more clothes. I literally just bought another shirt yesterday and I haven't worn a t-shirt in a long time because it's cold. Hence why I'm wearing a long sleeve and jeans. Um, by the way, this is from Urban Outfitters. It's from the Out From Under brand, I want to say. I don't know, but this is my favorite shirt I ever highly recommend. Um, but yeah, I need to clean this out because my main problem with not wanting to put clothes away or do my laundry is because I just swallowed my hair. Just girly things. Um, <laughs> that's so ugly. I'm so sorry. Um, one of the main reasons I don't want to do my laundry and put my clothes away is because I can't move. Like I have to shove. It is not a good situation. You see, um, I do wear a lot of this, but I don't wear all of it. So I want to get rid of some of it. First of all, all of my hangers on this side of my closet are pink. I have velvet hangers on this side, which is like just t-shirts and tank tops and whatever. Um, but these, I don't want velvet hangers because it's hard to put velvet hangers on something long sleeve or like a hoodie or something. Um, but I don't know what this is. So, oh, that was bouncier than I thought. So we're getting rid of it. Um, I don't know. Like the first thing in here is literally my Nightmare Before Christmas shirt and I never wear it. But like I love the Nightmare Before Christmas so it hurts my heart to get rid of. But I never wear it. But it still hurts my heart so I don't know. I also never wear a turtleneck except for the annual trip I go on for Christmas and then I wear this multiple times. Um, something I do know I want to get rid of. See, I can't... <laughs> I can't move things. Um, is this super soft and cozy? Um, hoodie with like the three quarter zips. I just don't wear it. And I have, I got a new fuzzy one that just looks nicer and it's long. It's like this length where this is slightly more cropped. Um, I've only worn it like twice and it was super cute, but I just, I don't wear it because I'm not a fan of this, but it's on, it's from Cotton On, so it's like a good brand. Um, Another reason why I wanted to do this was to plug my Poshmark, which will be down below. It's just Cam X Cam. Um, but yeah, I'm putting this on it. I sold another hoodie a couple weeks ago, and then there's one more hoodie, which is also from Cotton On, that's listed on there, and it's really cute. Um, but yeah, I'm going to list this. I only wore it like twice. It's still in good condition, but I just, I really don't ever where I haven't reached for it once this fall or winter. So it's gotta go. Um, let's see, I love that. I wear that all the time. My pink crew neck, well, my red crew neck from pink. You know what I'm surprised? That I don't have any pink hoodies because I got really, really, really into pink this past year. Like I bought pink Air Force Ones. Well, they're not bright pink, but they're like a nudie pink pad or Air Force ones why can't I speak um so surprising me that I don't have any long sleeves or hoodies that are pink when I have quite a few shirts that are it's interesting um but I love that I love all my red red is just my thing oh this is like my favorite shirt that I got this fall one of them besides this one and they're like the same color <laughs> um this is something I want to get rid of. I don't know why it's taken me so long to get rid of this Aeropostale hoodie. I think just because it's kind of cool. It's like woven but not. It's comfier than what you would imagine this to be. And the neckline is cool. But I never wear it. So I'm so excited to have hangers. That's also really exciting. That will also be listed on my Poshmark. Um, Champion sweatshirt. Love that. I have an American Eagle. I see this is the problem is I have this flannel that I didn't even know that I had. I literally looked for this to wear today. 
thought I got rid of it because I couldn't find it in my closet because I couldn't move my clothes and then just put this shirt on instead. Which I'm going to keep the shirt on because I love this shirt. But like, come on. I didn't even remember I still had that. Um, my grandpa's flannel. We'll never get rid of that. My yellow American Eagle hoodie. Love that. My American Eagle long sleeve. I'll keep that. I don't wear it that often, but I like it. Um, my Old Navy men's hoodie in mustard yellow. That says USA in black. Love this hoodie. Was $7 from the men's section at Old Navy. And it's so cute. I'm eating my hair again. And I get like a million compliments on this hoodie, which is hilarious because it was $7 from the men's section at Old Navy. This zip up that I don't really wear, but I think it's cute, so I want it. Um, this, oh, so this is the hanger. It's my velvet hangers that I use on this side of my closet. Um, and I do use it for this shirt because this shirt is so, like, thin thread that I don't want it to get the bumps from, like, the other hanger. So this is the only thing that gets, I think it's the only one. Yeah, this is the only thing that gets about the hanger, and it's the shirt. I also tend to not wash all, like, if I put this in the wash way too much, then it would just fall apart um, because of the threading of it. So I try not to wash everything every single time I wear it. If I'm not sweating in it because it's winter, I'm, I don't sweat in winter. Um, yeah, even when I work out, I don't sweat in the winter. It's really weird. I don't know what to say. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like it gets as dirty, so... I don't wash them as much. This, I love waffle shirts, but I literally never wear this. Like, I never reach for it. It's cute, but I haven't worn it in, like, I want to say two years I haven't worn that. So I just, it's a weird color. I've realized that I'm not a fan of blue shirts because I don't understand what mainly jeans to wear with them so it's mainly a problem with clothes that have to go with jeans when it's colder but then I also don't know what shoes to wear with it it's just a problem I don't like it I also don't wear my denim jackets that much but I feel like everybody needs denim jackets and I love this one because it's distressed and has paint splatters um so I don't want to get rid of it this is an American Eagle or no this is Abercrombie and I love this shirt this is my Hollister waffle shirt. I also don't wear it that much, but it's cute and I want to keep it because I don't have that many long sleeves. I actually wear this flannel quite a bit because it has red in it, so it looks good with my red vans. Let's see. This one has all my pins on it, so I really just want to keep it for that reason. Puma hoodie, love that. Tie-dye hoodie, love that. My work hoodie that I cropped. And I'll keep it for now. Even though I'm not really supposed to wear crop tops to work. Whoops. Um, just got that. Love it. Grandpa's flannel. Love that. This is a pajama, pajama shirt that my now ex-boyfriend. Ouch. That he got me. Um, but I kind of wear it as a regular top. Is that weird? It looks cute. So this is a layering long sleeve. I don't wear it that much, but the very few times. That I needed a layering long sleeve. That's the only one I had. This Calvin Klein one. This is actually so cute. I'm going to show you. Kind of obsessed with it. So it's a Calvin Klein. And then this is like rubber. That sticks out. I'm obsessed. I think it's so cute. I also don't wear this one enough. I should wear that more often. This is a flannel that I'm kind of. I don't know. I feel like I need to give this a little bit more of a chance. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Like, that's not cute. Um, but if I don't wear it by the time it gets hot and can't wear this anymore, then I will get rid of it because I don't need to keep things. This, this hoodie throws me because I don't wear it when I want to go out places. I wear it as, like, a lounging want-to-sleep-in hoodie. But it takes up room in here, but I don't have any room in my pajama drawer. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> I 
I literally never wear this. But do I need it? Oh, these are my problems. This is cute. Love this. Oh, love this free people one. Hollister men's shirt. Camo. Love it. My Coeur d'Alene hoodie. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. Just kidding. This shirt is also on a wire hanger. Um, this is something else that I never wear, but it goes with my matching leggings, but I never wear it as a matching set. But I just keep it because it was expensive. It was an expensive gift I got um, as a matching set, and I wear the leggings all the time, and they're my favorite leggings, and I'm seriously wearing them out because I wear them so much, but I get the most compliments on them, so it makes me really sad. But do I keep the matching sweatshirt is the real question, and I don't know the answer to that, which is why I always just end up putting it back in my closet. Cute new sweatshirt I got. Cute new champion sweatshirt I got. Um, this shirt is really cute and I wore it a lot, but now it's kind of... Maybe I should just wear it as a pajama shirt because I used to never wear long sleeves as pajamas. But now my mom's boyfriend likes to keep the house super cold. And so I'm starting to. And this is the good, like thicker material that when I don't wear a bra to bed, you can't tell. Like the other waffle shirt, you'd be able to tell. I also don't think I could like resell this one just because it's a cheap H&M one. That's going to be a pajama shirt. Um, My mom absolutely hates these like woven like rug hoodies, but I only have the one and I really like it. This is my uh, cheap Golden Knights sweatshirt or not sweatshirt long sleeve but I like it um my fancy hoodie if I ever need to do something nicer but I want to wear a hoodie my Nike sweatshirt I love my favorite champion sweatshirt I think this is my favorite sweatshirt I have because it's black and white plaid and polka dot which is adorable um this sweatshirt that I've never worn and I need to get rid of but it's so cute it's like a black jean material and it has a cute little ruffle but I never wear it, so I need to get rid of it. But it makes me sad because it's really cute. I just don't understand how to wear it. Oh, my New York shirt. This sweatshirt. Oh, no, no, I got that one. I wear this one all the time. That's a jacket I wear all the time. My favorite Polaroid sweatshirt that I wear all the time. I'm obsessed with this sweatshirt. It's actually looking kind of gross because I wear it so much, but I love it. My New York hoodie that I love. I think I need to get rid of this Nike hoodie because I never wear it, but it's also not mine. It was this boy's because I was cold and he gave me his hoodie and then he just kind of left and then I never saw him again. Well, I've seen him like out in public, but never when like I have the sweatshirt on me. So, and he's not somebody that I would just go out of my way to hang out with. Is that wrong to, I'm just gonna get rid of it I don't wear it it's not a cute Nike I mean it's cute but it's dry fit I hate dry fit dry fit hoodies I don't understand them like why are you dry fit I don't work out in hoodies I get way too hot like even in the winter I will get way too hot I won't sweat but I end up taking off like my sweatpants and my sweatshirt and even my jacket like the other day I was running outside in 40 degrees and my little tiny shorts and just like a dry fit t-shirt because I was so hot that I couldn't function and run anymore unless I was like that unclothed. Ew, that was gross. My Silverwood hoodie I love and then my velour hoodie that I absolutely love and I wear it all the freaking time. Oh, and this is just my Letterman jacket and then my prom dress. I need to figure out what to do with those and also all this. Well, that's my girlfriends. Shout out Angela. I love you. I miss you. Come back. Yeah, she came to stay with me for a week and she left her sweatshirt and I've actually worn it because it's really soft and cozy and I miss her. But this is another stuff I want to get rid of. Like these were my grandpa's. That 
oh, it's a t-shirt version of a shirt, but it has me on the back of it. Like, it's my, it has a big picture of my soccer team on the back. So that's weird to get rid of because it's a bunch of, like, eight-year-old girls that I feel like is not appropriate to donate to the Goodwill. And these are all my shirts that I won in middle school. So I feel like I can't get rid of those because I worked my ass off for those. And I want to turn it into a quilt, but I need somebody to do that for me. So I don't know. But I did get rid of quite a few things. So I'm proud of myself. Something else I think I need to get rid of are these pair of Puma shoes that I don't wear. I've literally worn them once. But they're so cute. Should I show you? They're right here. I keep all my athletic shoes on this bench. That's also a shoe rack. But these are my Pumas. They're so cute. But I never, ever wear them. Maybe I should wear them tonight. Oh, they have dust all over them. I just feel like I don't... I don't know. There's many other shoes that I wear before I want to wear these. Even though they're super cute. Okay, but wait, that's really cute. <laughs> I don't know. These might be listed on my Poshmark too. Um, but yeah, go check out my Poshmark. Highly recommend. I have really cute clothes on there and clearly I don't wear all of my clothes. So... Go check it out. Cam X Cam down below. Bye.